Hello friends, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel series that is currently running into my channel. Friends, in today's video we are going to learn how to cap percentage at specific amount. That means we are going to calculate a percentage based on value capped at a specific amount. Friends, after the video ends, please check the description box there you will find the link of the excel data file which i am using in this video and have a look into my channel playlist to learn about this formula briefly watch this video till the end this is your host Pritam, and you are watching technical portal youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and also Press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference, I am going to run the OSK software that means the on-screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. Friends, I have already created a file previously to save time. Let's open that file. So here it is. Suppose this is a salary sheet and you are going to add the bonus value as $500 only, not greater than that. So we are going to cap the bonus percentage into 500 to calculate a percentage based value capped at a specific amount you can use the min function you can look at here look at here carefully friends i'm going to type the form equals to min we are going to use the min that means the minimum function then you have to at first select the sale reference number where the value has been included you can type it manually then put a asterisk symbol in microsoft excel asterisk symbol represents as the multiplication symbols also right then i'm going to add 10 percent bonus for every single person but then put a comma here then add your capping amount in my case I am adding 500 as my capping amount that means whenever bonus amount that means the 10% amount will be greater than 500 it will be not showed or counted right then simply close the bracket and hit the enter button look at here 10% of 200 is $20 but if you copy the formula from upside down look at here the 10% of 5000 is 500 but the 10% of 6000 should be 600 but there we have used the capping of 500 it is showing as 500 so let's check how this formula actually works this formula takes advantages of the fact that the minimum function that means the min function works fine with small sets of data even two values inside min the value in c6 is multiplied by 10 percent and the result appears at the first number given to min the number 500 is supplied as the second value the minimum function then returns the smaller of the two values whenever it is showing greater than 500 it will show only 500 or in these two numbers which of the number is the minimum value it will be showed in this result so that's all for today friends hopefully you have learned a new trick of using minimum function in microsoft excel hopefully it will help you in your daily work life share this video with your friends Share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section. Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and stay tuned.